Do you ever get the feeling that there's more to this world than what's on the surface? It all started when I moved into an old house in the countryside. I wanted to start over, to have a place I could call my own. But I was never alone. There was always something there, watching me. I picked up Fiona's locket, and the world as I knew it changed forever. What was dead came back to life. What was bright became dark. What else has changed in this garden? If I'd ever doubted my own courage, I proved myself then, standing there in the presence of the shade. When he finally disappeared, I ran. I ran as fast as my legs would take me. But instead of safety, I found someone or something ransacking my house. The Hobgoblin was convinced that a creature called a Kelpie knew something about Fiona's capture. You know those stories about Kelpies luring people underwater? If I had only listened, maybe I could have prevented what was about to happen. loomed over me and I thought that was it. This was the end. But the Hobgoblin, he jumped in front of me and the next thing I knew, You are not the first mortal to rescue Fiona. There was another one, a woman. Fiona spoke of her dearly. No mortal can withstand the Shade's attack, but he did not kill her. He did something much worse. Go to town and find her if you do not believe me. Maybe you can succeed where she did not. Fiona and her family are not the only mortals with magic. The Shade has gone after them, one by one. While the Shade cannot be defeated, it can be contained. Fiona's family was close to finding a way. Finish what they started, and you can save the girl. But be warned, the Shade will come for you too just like he did for them. It wasn't that simple. Of course, it couldn't be. I realised with horror where the last locket charm was. You cannot save the girl. Of 
voice boomed. His voice. She is mine. I knew what I had to do. It was time for me to return to the garden and save Fiona. It was time to face the shade. So much for a quiet life. I moved into a house and found myself with an orphaned little girl. All I knew was I needed to help her. If I kept her safe, her parents would not have died in vain. She told me the Shade wasn't destroyed, only defeated, that he would send more creatures after her. But there were others like her, she said, others with magic. She hid the locket, knowing help would come. And as spring came to a close, we prepared for the eternal winter ahead, and went in search of the others. It was the end of spring when Fiona finally told me what happened the day she was captured. As a listen to the terror she and her family went through, it was almost as if I was there.